Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'll show you how to create this Elementor countdown timer using the Elementor Flexbox layout. This type of countdown timer will create a sense of urgency in the viewer's mind, and ultimately they will most likely convert into potential customers. This countdown timer is not only visually appealing but also highly responsive to any device. Furthermore, once the countdown timer reaches the target date and time, then you can display any custom text in place of numbers. Now without any further ado, let's get started. To create this advanced timer, open the same page with the Elementor editor where you want to create it. In our case, we are going to create it in the pricing section, so let me add a container just below the title heading. Let's call it the Countdown Timer Wrapper. While the Countdown Timer Wrapper is still selected, go to the Item Setting option, then set the direction to Row, Align Items to Center, and Justify Content to Center. After that, switch to the Style tab, and set the background image from your media library. If you have not already uploaded the background image to your media library, then you can do so using this button. By the way I have already provided the code snippet along with all the resources in the description, you can get it from there at any time. Now set the repeat to no repeat, and size to cover. Next, switch to the advanced tab, then set the padding to 12 pixels. Now, insert a container within the countdown timer wrapper, Let's call it the Countdown Info Container. While the Countdown Info Container is still selected, go to the Items option, then set the Align Items to Flex End, and Justify Content to Center. Now duplicate the Countdown Info Container, and rename the duplicate container to the Countdown Num Container. While the Countdown Num Container is still selected, go to the Items option, then set the direction to column, align items to flex start, and elements gap to 5 pixels. Now insert a container within the countdown num container. Let's call it the time container. While the time container is selected, go to the layout tab, then set the content width to full width, and width to 35%. After that, expand the items option, then set the direction to row, align items to center, justify content to center, and elements gapped to 11 pixels. Now duplicate the time container, and rename the duplicate container to the label container. Now insert a container within the time container. Let's call it the day counter. While the day counter is still selected, go to the layout tab, then set the content width to full width, width to 35 pixels, and minimum height to 35 pixels. After that, expand the items option, then set the align items to center, and justify content to center. Next, switch to the style tab, and set the background color. Now insert a heading within the day counter, and input the exact text as mine in the text field. Next, do the styling as mine. Now here is one thing you need to keep in mind that you will not see any text in these headings, because we have not added any text content except a span tag with an ID, and a class. Once you add the code snippet to our Elementor countdown timer, then the counter will appear automatically. You can find the code snippet at the link provided in the description. Now select and duplicate the day counter thrice to create three more containers. Now rename the first duplicate container to the hour counter, the second duplicate container to the minute counter, and the third duplicate container to the second counter. Next, 
change the heading text of all the duplicate containers as mine one by one. Now insert a container within the label container. Let's call it the day label. While the day label is still selected, go to the layout tab, then set the content width to full width, and width to 35 pixels. Next, insert a heading within the label container, and input the exact text as mine in the text field. Next, do the styling as mine. Now select and duplicate the day label thrice to create three more containers. Now rename the first duplicate container to the hour label, the second duplicate container to the minute label, and the third duplicate container to the second label. Next, change the heading text of all the duplicate containers as mine one by one. Now insert a heading within the countdown info container. Now input the exact text as mine in the text field. Next, do the styling as mine. Now insert an HTML widget above the countdown timer wrapper. Let's call it the countdown timer code snippet. Next, copy and paste the Elementor Countdown Timer code snippet into the HTML widget. Now here you can see, that our Elementor Countdown Timer is working perfectly. Let's stylize it for tablet and mobile devices. To do so, select the Responsive Mode tool from the bottom left corner, and select the tablet from the top of the screen. Now, modify the settings as I am. Once you are finished with the tablet, then switch to the mobile mode. And do the styling like mine.
Now let's see how you can change the target date of the countdown timer. To do so, open the code snippet. In the JavaScript code block, you will get a variable with the name of the countdown date. To change the target date, you need to enter the month in three-letter format, followed by the date of the month, and then a comma, followed by the year in full digits, and time in hours, minutes, and seconds format. If you want to change the text that appears after the countdown time is over, you can do so from here. Sometimes newly updated target date may not reflect in the Elementor. You don't need to worry, simply save the changes and preview your page. Now that we have successfully created our Elementor countdown timer. Guys, I just want to let you know that it took me almost 10 hours to make this video for you, so please like and subscribe, it will only take you 2 seconds, and if you are facing any problems, please let me know in the comment down below. Thank you so much for watching, I will see you next time.